तबद भय दबीन देह सुहित निमित्त शोक स्पृहा परिभव विपुलश्चलो वह तबद ममोति असदवग्रहवाूल जावन्नाति अघ्रिम भय प्रवृणीते लोक तबद भय दबीन देह सुहित निमित्त शोक स्पृहा परिभव विपुलश्चलो वह तबद ममोति असदवग्रहवाूल जावन्नाति अघ्रिम भय प्रवृणीते लोक गौर्य गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद परम जगदुरु टोल्ड दैट भगवान इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस ही इज नॉट एट ऑल आस्किंग एनीथिंग फ्रॉम अस एट ऑल गौर्य गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठाकुर प्रभुपाद जगत गुरु टोल्ड दैट भगवान इज नॉट एट ऑल इन फ्रंट ऑफ अस इज नॉट एट ऑल आस्किंग एनीथिंग फ्रॉम अस Only and only he needs submission. Only Sharanagati he wants from us. That by not doing Bhagavata Nushilan, whatever kind of uh, problems we are getting, that all kind of uh, all material world they are actually in this material Maya. Whole material world. What do you mean by sansar material world? What do you mean by that? That whole material world, whatever kind of problems of this material world. that if you are just collecting it on the one side in one side that is called sansar whatever kind of um, infinity problems you just collect it and put it on one side that is called sansar that is sansar but still in order to get out of the sansar we are not at all finding any way to get out of this sansar we are not at all uh, getting holidays to get out of sansar so much intelligent we are you see that bhagwan shri krishna bhagwan shri krishna also that he is speaking that who is actually intelligent uddhav ji maharaj speaking who is actually intelligent he is asking to uddhav ji maharaj that all those persons material persons they are thinking that they are intelligent everyone is thinking themselves that they are intelligent bhakti vinod thakur yes they are all intelligent but according to their that according to their own estimation they are everyone is intelligent they are thinking that they are actually intelligent but they are not every person they are thinking like that they are actually foolish number 1 so they are we are also foolish but krishna actually speaking that tam buddhi manusha cha manishinam yat satyam anrite neha martena apanati amritam thakur ji batai thakur ji speaking that you see that person is intelligent that he is the top most intelligent of of all those intelligent persons that who is all that that he is thinking that this uh, world is just of two days i am this on this material planet and in order to get the actual nectar that is the lotus feet of my if he is uh, taking that that is the actual intelligent person that out of all the munishis that kind of vichar shakti that uh, thinking power he is the top most of all the thinkers that this two days life when he has got that he is thinking that this is he wants to take the act, actual nectar out of this two days life that uh, person who is on the way to death he is actually getting the actual nectar and all the time he is actually uh, giving his life and soul to get that nectar in his life that is actually intelligent and in the 10th canto also i have already told you regarding this that day that that actual nectar is called bhakti only in the 10th canto bhagwan shri krishna actually speaking mai bhakti hi bhutana amrita taya kalpate that uh, who is actually having bhakti onto my lotus feet that is the actual nectar in the life they which they will get and that at the time of sri triveni sangam and kind of ocean 
where kumbh mela if you will go at prayagraj different different place definitely nectar is there but that kind of nectar is not at all actual nectar that is for infinity period it will it will not give you the actual tatva siddhant of the transcendental world at all bhagwan is not at all asking anything in front of us only and only submission he wants sharnagati 100% he wants that's it atma nivedan he wants and atma nivedan after getting atma nivedan the jeev is actually actually becoming independent and happy in his life actually he is getting independent and happy when jeev is actually getting atma nivedan when after atma nivedan like a child is in the lap of a mother he is playing all the time no problem at all no tension at all when he is then when this innocent child is playing in the lap of a mother so when at the lotus feet of krishna that we are getting actual sharanagati we are getting siddh in that then the persons then he is becoming actually sukhi in the kirtan that's why shila sachidanand bhakti mohan thakur ji in the kirtan he has written Very nice Kirtan Bhakti Nur Thakur has written. Nobody, want, nobody wants to do Kirtan. This Kirtan everyone should do. All under the guidance of Mahajans we have to do it regularly. Bhakti Nur Thakur is speaking you see that Thakur ji on to a lotus feet when I have done Atma Nivedan. I am getting the topmost uh, happiness. Absolute. Not happiness. Absolute bliss and happiness I am getting. Why? Because there is no uh, distress at all. That whatever kind of tensions and distress or sorrows are there, everything is getting destroyed. All around I am going to discover transcendental peaceful situation. All, all, all the four directions there is Anand. Where actually there is disease, nothing is there at all. All four directions there is happiness because nectar of bhakti is there. Sharnagati is there towards Bhagwan. In this material world, by just serving this material world, just by serving Maya Devi, we are not at all getting any kind of uh, happiness at all. By serving Maya Devi, we will not get an actual nectar in our life at all. We will not Bhagavat Anushilan that to serve that Adhoksha Javastu that transcendental Adhoksha Javastu object we just need to do the bhajan of that Adhoksha Javastu object and if we don't have that kind of courage physically everything whether in bhajan the topmost point is your heart it should be devoted towards Bhagavan and Guru Vaishnav that is the most important point here your heart all the time this point you just need to remember all the time that without bhajan even fraction of second what is going from our life we are actually without bhajan we are actually losing our time in bhajan whatever kind of time we are giving that in the transcendental time uh, factor it is going in that when we are doing bhajan when we are actually getting bhakti sufficient bhakti inside of our heart from the power we are getting from guru work then only the uh, question of preaching can come and this uh, Gita Pravachin also one kind of preaching Arjun in front uh, Krishna actually speaking Krishna whatever kind of different different instructions he is giving to Arjun this is actually Srimad Bhagavad Gita that is a very topmost preaching done by Krishna of the transcendental topics uh, Krishna has just put in front of us. In this material world of fear, lust, ego, e- enemy, jealousy, everything is there. So all these kind of enemies, we are actually getting covered from all the four directions. That all kind of cheaters, they, we don't have any kind of, uh, uh, we cannot get out of them at all. Bhagavan Shri Krishna speaking to Arjun that he is your actual enemy. This is your actual enemy. Internal enemies are this only. They are the actual enemies. You just need to destroy that. Bhagavan 
that in your life whatever kind of fearless jealousy enemy uh, fearfulness everything is there there is no solution to that at all that's why in the transcendental world in the transcendental world in order to get the actual nitya seva there in the transcendental world that actual sharanagat we just need to get sharanagat onto lotus feet of pure guru vishnuv and in the mati- in the transcendental world we have to get the transcendental seva so gita so the actual purport of the gita this the gita amrit what is there the nectar in gita bhagwan shri krishna is actually giving to arjun that kind of nectar he that gita is uh, swayam bhagwan's that padmana bhagwan from the lotus mouth is the actual vani coming from that and on this thousands of uh, per pattern conclusions commentaries are there on gita that now we d- i don't know from 20 to 25 years i have just know the actual uh, statistics but now today whatever it is how many commentaries and in how much language this gita is getting uh, published and how much uh, commentary is written in different different languages i don't have any statistics for that from each and every place from each and every organization from each and every person different different kind of commentary from shankaracharya also written commentary on gita that material radha krishnan he also written this uh, material and more material political leaders they also have written the commentary or oh, everyone has written the commentary chatterji different different kind of people have just given the commentary on the gita don't know they don't know anything that krishna what he wants to speak to arjun they this only krishna knows and whatever all those eternal parishad of krishna they know that what he wants to speak actually those who are those who are actually going close to krishna those who are actually clear nearer and dearer to krishna that they can only express the actual bhav of krishna what krishna wants to speak in gita that only krishna can speak or a normal person how he can speak it is not at all possible because it is a point of realization if someone is some particular person he will want to get the actual information of a particular person for some case he wants to take the uh, if some investigation is there in that what person he will do that whatever in that locality he will be going and he will be just taking every tea shop everywhere he will go and slowly steadily he will be getting the information from that person and from there and slowly steadily he will be going more and more closer what is his person closer to that particular person which you want the news or information then to her wife to her mother father slowly steadily this investigation going like that so this is the actual process so that person who knows the inside heart of that particular person that wife if she is but usually it is like that only we have to get that wife every every sh- everything she should know about her husband so like this if we'll be actually doing the uh, purport then the geetas there are thousands of commentaries of geetas can be there but the those who are actually eternal person of krishna in this gaudiya vishnu samaj vishwanath chakravarti pad baldev vidyabhushan bhakti vinod thakur prabhupad from apart from that nobody knows the actual heart of krishna from inside no no one can know apart from them they have the maximum uh, reach towards krishna krishna's heart sila sachidanand bhakti mr thakur ji gita ka jo that geetas bhasya rachana that bhasya that uh, proper commentary he has written on the basis of that before that bhakti vinod thakur lekhani has written one essay or one uh, poem he is written to babu hum gita ratna mahajan tar pade sastanga pranam he dasere kipa kori mastake charan dhari shakti dane purna karun kam 
I will not be just doing uh, the in and in brief I am speaking in front of you. Bhakti Mano Thakur speaking, the actual Mahajana of Gita is Advait Goswami. Well, you must have known this. You know this point, I think. In Chaitanya Bhagavat, when you have already read that, there you have already seen that Adyat Goswami, all the time, he is used to read Gita and Mahaprabhu, that his big brother and all other Shivas, etc., all those devotees, they were actually used to sit in front of Advait Gosain, used to do the vichar of Gita in front of him. They used to hear that. And this is the actual seva of Advait Gosain. And when one day Advait Gosain, he was actually, wants to know the actual fixed meaning of that particular word and it is not coming in front of him. That because of that Advait Gosain, he is not a normal person. He is Mahavishnu Swayam. Eva Ayam means definitely he that same Advait Goswami who is actually Mahavishnu who is the actual uh, uh, father of this material creation but still he has done this kind of Leela in front of us that, that some fixed slok uh, word is not at all getting the actual meaning in front of him and because of that Advait Goswami started fasting, not at all taking prasadam and he stopped taking water and prasadam. And after that, in front of Krishna, he is actually crying and uh, praying that what is the actual meaning of this word, particular word. Then Krishna in the dream, actually speaking, oh, you get up. It means this. And then after that, he is taking prasadam and water. The, the main thing is that, that Advait Goswami is Swayam Mahavishnu, but still by doing the Leela, he is showing that Gita, each and every word, you should, what kind of particular uh, meaning is there, Krishna already know that. And Krishna, Advait is actually, Advait Goswami is doing this Leela, so that external persons by their material power and intelligence, they can't know the actual meaning of the word written in Gita. It is not at all possible on their own uh, power. And those who are eternal parshad of Bhagavan, like Prabhupada, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, etc., who they are, Vishwana Chakravarti Path, by in front of them, only the actual meaning of Gita can come. It, in, it can get manifested in front of them only. Otherwise, normal person, it is not at all possible that uh, actual meaning of Gita can get manifested. Srila Sachidanand Bhaktivinoda Thakurji, has uh, told lot of things and and Srila Sachidanand Bhakti Mathakur under the Anugatya of I want to speak uh, two words after that uh, the, it is going to start this Gita Kavachan Nigam Shastra Agam Nigam Agam and Nigam Nigam means that and from Sankarshan up till Chaturshan from where actually it is coming to this Parampara this nigam and agam in this the only one meaning is there in this there is no difference between them between the two but still in the nigam shastra that kind of vishal akar this is this shabd shastra at what point at what place, where to put karma, where to put dharma, where to put shankhya yoga, where to put, uh, where, where to put bhakti yoga. In a very fine form, you just need to make the instruction at what point. It is already distinguished there. And different, different places, one, one point we will be actually discussing. If we are speaking dharma, they will be thinking that Bhagavad dharma. And they are not at all thinking about other dharma. So we are here actually spoken about Bhagavad dharma. That some info, some anshitish dharma, sankhya yoga, bhakti yoga, different, different kind of instructions Krishna has given. And different differentiation is given. That because of this uh, differentiation, there is some interrelation is there. Definitely what is the actual uh, secret uh, sambandh is there. And that's why it is actually categorized like this. If dharma is only one, then only you can speak one thing only. Why actually speaking so much things, uh, confusion will come. No, it's not like that. That whole material world, 
so much jivas are there that in that human be- human beings are there and in this each and every person have the different different kind of sanskar nature and uh, vichar and each sanskar is not the same and according to the sanskar and nature what kind of consciousness level and they are actually con- uh, thinking power it is actually also different from each and every one shila bhakti mein thakur ji speaking that kram mark slowly steadily in this material world in the form of dharma lot of things are there some you are actually blaming someone we should not blame anyone on the basis of dharma lot of things are going on now a days in this material world on the basis of dharma different different kind of vichars actually are going on everyone is speaking different vichar according to different different sanskar according to that they are actually getting the results they will be actually understanding that and they will be accepting that but ultimately bhakti mohan thakur speaking step by step slowly steadily just by increasing his consciousness at the, at the last moment this bhagavad dharma atma dharma that nitya dharma vaishnav dharma that bhagavad dharma on this you we just need to go if not today maybe you don't want to go today maybe definitely tomorrow you have to go because there is no pathway open apart from that at all for gradual promotion slowly steadily your uh, when ji were actually getting promoted he can go up to that point but uh, in the vipul shastra that so much who actually want to hear so much shastra how he can understand that in this kali kal that very small age in this kali kal they are having very less age in this kali yug that jeevas are having very less age in this kali kal and their bhav is actually different they don't have patience at all and their vichar is very less nothing is there in kali kal and by material vichar what they can get in their life slowly steadily just by getting the full vichar of the shastras the what is the actual final thing what is the final thing in order to get on to that point it is impossible for kali kal jeevas to go on to that platform that's why in all the shastras there is one uh, conclusion final conclusion very easy and scientific conclusion is given and that kind of mimansa should be there and who will speak that for that krishna is actually just putting his own person eternal parshad he is actually uh, b- pushing them on this material world about shadugo swami we are actually just uh, doing part maybe you are doing that maybe you are actually just speaking every day about shadugo swami you are actually doing it no the pray- prayers you are doing it regularly i think so in this that all uh, infinity shastras the actual uh, uh, conclusion and nectar what is actual conclusion of the shastra if you will uh, just read all the shastras then you will become mad by uh, reading all the shastra we cannot understand it that all kind of shastras their vichar that sa dharma that bhagavad dharma on the basis that go swami log have manifested the bhagavad dharma in front of us and the same dharma under the guidance of guru vishnu we have to learn that that if we will be just doing the part of go swami jans we cannot do so we have to take the support of prabhupad bhakti vinod thakur and guru var then only we can get the actual solution we can understand what is bhagavad dharma so what is the actual final conclusions what should some kind of scientific uh, <coughs> mimamsa should be there because all all kind of karma and sometimes in yog and sankhya gyan some kind of logic and in arguments <coughs> and some sometimes brahmavad only and only they are actually called as grahiya this kind of siddhant actually is spoken in gita they are grahiya in this 
on this Indi on in bharat bhumi on this uh, india in this land of india he is, it is a spiritual land those sages of the long deliberation have given us immense treasure of spiritual knowledge knowledge who is going to accept we are so idiot so foolish this land of india whatever kind of uh, different different kind of vichar we are getting in this different different kind of vichar rishi muni have already told us in this everything the solution will get in that and this khand gyan this gyan is actually akhand infinity in the actual transcendental knowledge the tatva gyan is transcendental in nature but when it is becoming khandit it is becoming disturbed distributed by our own which are from here there there all the rishi rishi muni is there actually just dividing it into different different portions distracting it and uh, there is no symmetry what they are actually by dividing that gyan knowledge it it seems that it is unsymmetrical in nature like uh, we are taking all kind of wrong foods puri kachori dal puri everything you have taken and you are taking curd and after sweets also you have taken after that in your liver it is getting into the liver and is not getting digested there actually it is just uh, rushing like anything and producing so much heat it is not at all getting digested assimilation is a far distant thing so like this it is going on this uh, land of india it is just like uh, the knowledge is getting uh, distributed and getting divided into different different parts and because of indigestion like uh, it is get, giving us so much burn inside our liver and this kind of disturbance it is because different different kind of ism or uh, different different kind of matvad what is actually coming out of different different munis realization at the time of kaliyug there is a lot of uh, disturbance was there then krishna at that time that bhagwan shri krishna chandra absolute truth he has made one vichar okay in this kalikal in this present kalikal krishna has come and is taking arjun uh, with him and he has just put arjun on that particular platform where arjun can he is actually putting different different kind of arguments and doubts in front of krishna in front of krishna he is actually presenting that and according to that we can get the actual uh, updesh of gita that gita upanishad we can get in front of us it is coming in front of us or in all the kind of all the vichar of the shastras all sh- all shastrik vichar that just by having that vichar you have to just focus on the uh, actual siddhant you just need to focus on that and you have to go it on to and to con- come on to that to which is very difficult that's why that shrimad bhagavat gita krishna has just manifested it is just one part of mahabharat but still the actual paripurna absolute uh, solution shrimad bhagavat ji mahapuran it is already uh, given in that yesterday by i have already just discussed it yesterday regarding this also that gita shastra that on all kind of different upanishad which are there this is the actual conclusion and is the topmost shira bhushan upanishads are also the gita is also upanishad gita upanishad but it is the crest jewel of all the shastras and from all the vedantas upanishads and vedas they are having giving different different kind of vichar but the final outcome for bonded jiva it is not at all possible to understand at all so in this bonded condition 
that ka what is actually in relation with bhagwan that jeevas in order to harmonize that and to get on to that perfect platform and perfect target what is your life in order to get jeevas have to go there that uh, in starting only i have already told that shloka this shloka i have already told you up till that point on to the lotus feet of krishna that sharnapati is not getting siddh up till that point all kind of jealousy fear uh, lust all actually confrontation will all always come in our life of this there is no solution at all in in front of us dravin means that money power bhakti money power position name fame everything that your own ma- mother father wife child your property everything related to that up till that when distress or sorrow will be there inside your heart that shok means that total darkness towards actual knowledge transcendental knowledge that greediness towards material things will definitely be there and akanksha definitely i have to take this this desire should be there that akanksha means desire inside your heart that desire should be there all the time actually restlessness is there inside the heart of the jeevas paribhav means i actually speaking like that maharaj when up till that point happiness is there greediness there madam atsare all six enemies will be there then definitely jeevi will get defeated in front of themselves they haven't understood this point at all we haven't uh, tried to understand this point that in front if we are taking the vesh of sanyasi acharya brahmachari whosoever vesh we are taking externally in the way of the others we are actually having one kind of jealousy it means definitely he is already lost yesterday i have already told you this which are no that in in uh, english kata i think so i have told i now i can uh, remember that that prakrit kaam dev actually speaking that uh, we can also we have already defeated uh, shankar also he is kaam dev mrityunjay and he, that uh, shankar bhagwan already have just burned you in into, into ashes yes i know that shankar has given me burned into ashes but still i am getting a uh, double uh, promotion now actually i am anang anang means without any body i am bodiless now i am no one can see me where i can go no passport visa i require at all now just openly i can go now so it is more good that shankar bhagwan has done more that he, he no yes definitely it is my defeat when by burning a body it definitely one kind of uh, defeat for shankar also but when shankar i am going to the kaam ban when i have just put kaam ban on shankar at that time shankar his tapasya that bhajan is just got spoiled and after that he has so me and he has just got uh, um, when he just got uh, angry on me and he want to just kill me definitely he is already uh, get defeated I, it's not that i am also get it i am getting defeated shankar is also getting defeated at the same time said this this just to do the actual dasatya of these uh, kaam krodh lo mo six enemies different enemies for infinity birth and infinity time we are actually just uh, doing the anugatya of these six enemies only we are not at all getting and uh, finding any solution to get out of this and we are actually just getting taste in this like pralad mana actually speaking no these people they don't know at all that bhagavad dharma what is actual secret uh, uh, treasure of the bhagavad dharma they don't know at all no news is there for them at all they don't have any news regarding that and those those who want to take anand this kind of material anand in the bhajan bhajan anand if someone wants to take the actual bhajan anand actually who has got is in his life 
Yesterday, that time I already told two days back this point to you. So the happiness is definitely there. But no restlessness is there. In front of whom? Those who are in this material world, that in this material vishay, they don't have any kind of attraction for those material happiness at all. Those who are all the time quiet. Moni means, quiet means, that they are actually speaking only the Harikata of Bhagwan and Kirtan of Bhagwan. That's it. Apart from that, they are not at all speaking any kind of material uh, talkings at all. They don't have the desire to speak material talking. That is called actually Moni. Moni doesn't mean that he will be silent, not speaking anything. Prabhupada speaking that I don't have this kind of courage to speak. How you are getting this courage to get? Uh, what you have this kind of courage to be a silent person? Because whatever kind of material words. All kind of material words. It is that but 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 inside your uh, uh, inside your inside your heart. It is just going on all the time. So how you can go ahead, just become silent? Externally, you are not at all. You are you are not at all uh, speaking any word, and you are just showing that externally you are logging it that you are not at all speaking uh, external words, material words, but inside your heart that material words will be going on but but, and the loose motion will be done. So the actual uh, word should be uh, used in front of us. That kind of power, that Harikatha, Harikirtan, if we are actually using that, then only we can control our sense organs by that. This all actually, different different kind of vichar, if it is actually just we can hear, then we will become surprised. So much deep vichar is there that you will get mad. It is not that cheap to get at all. It is not that cheap to get very very deep vichar is there inside it. If you will just hear it then you will become surprised that so much nice vichar Maharaj you are speaking I haven't heard it and I haven't think of this kind of vichar what you are speaking now. So the word the actual external external pathway you just need to stop that there is no use of by stopping that at all. Mune means that Mune is actually Bahuvachan. Mune and Muni, Bahuvachan. So Munigan, this, uh, this all in Sanskrit, these words are there. So this is the seventh case ending there in Sanskrit. Mauna means to remain silent all the time without the Harikatha of Krishna. He is not at all speaking anything. For those people in their life, they are actually getting uh, happiness in their life all the time. For them, all the time peacefulness is because he don't want to do anything, only getting Sharnagadan to Lotus Feet of Krishna, he wants to do bhajan. And in our Vedanta Vichar, it is actually coming there. That about Shabda Brahma. Bhagavan in the form of Shabda Brahma is getting manifested and the Jeevas Jeevas are also if with the very correct uh, option by the Vedanta which are the, uh, every Jeev is Anuchatanya and they are actually the part and parcel of Krishna and all the time they are actually doing the Harinam of Krishna all the time just do the naam sankirtan all the time. This is the actual duty of the jivas. Jagdanand Pandit has already spoke on this point. That that vairagis are there. Those who have accepted vairagis in renounced order. That why they have actually attracted to different. They have just getting. Uh, whatever kind of material things of this material world, all actually they are they, they are thinking they are thinking as an item for Krishna Seva. They are divide, diverting everything for the service of Krishna. And each and every person, whatever object, person, place, mother, father, husband, wife, is actually all for the service of Krishna. It is actually diverted for that that he don't need to think of his own enjoyment at all. If he will be just thinking of his enjoyment, then definitely that kind of ego, doership will come. Mm-hmm. 
In Bhagavad Ji, in the 18,000 shlokas, at last, when Bhagavad Ji Mahapuran at the time of ending Bhagavad Ji Mahapuran, Mahapuran at the last uh, phase of Bhagavad Ji Mahapuran, it is written there. That final decision, it is already written there. Nobody is just putting a notice on this point carefully. Duksha Shamanam means that all kind of distress and sorrow you will get the actual solution of that. You will get that. That all kind of solutions you will get. That Shamanam means that he will get the topmost Prashanti. No burning of this material things will be there inside him. All topmost serene, sereneness or peacefulness will be there. That all kind of infinity uh, sorrow or distress you will get the actual solution of that just by doing Nam Sankirtan. That is the actual work. That is the actual uh, theme. If you will be doing the actual vichar, then in this material world, thousands and thousands of commentaries of Gita and uh, commentaries and purports and pravachans that uh, commentary, conclusions and purports can be there. All useless. It has... We have... The only one target we are having in our life that our Guru work, Vishwana Chakravarti Bhakti Bhaktivinoda Thakur, what he has told that in, they are actually the eternal Parshad of Bhagwan. That's why they can speak about that actual. They are very much close to Bhagwan, so they can know the actual kind of heart, what is there inside the heart of Krishna. They already know that. That Kodiyamat, they are actually one speciality is there in Kodiyamat. That whatever kind of Shastra of this whole infinity material world, even the Goswami Jan. Granth and Shastra just by doing the topmost uh, observation. Srila Bhaktivinoda Thakur, like who has given us so topmost, uh, very nice conclusion, uh, he has given on Bhagavad Gita. Nobody is there like that, or uh, saint like uh, Bhaktivinoda Thakur, who has maybe Ramanucharya, Madhvacharya, everyone is there. But everyone actually with the topmost uh, samadhan, topmost solution. Serene and topmost solution, so much straight uh, and serene solution like Sri Srila Satchidanand Bhakti Thakur has given uh, in front of us. He has already established that. So, we are actually thinking ourselves that we are very lucky. If this uh, question is coming that in each and every Shastra, that, uh, that we have just taken, put one Puran, we have read that. There, this is the final verdict in the Puran. In each and every Puran, apart from that, nothing is there about, apart from this uh, yoga. And in the Rajik Shastra, Brahma Ji is actually is, uh, glorified. And there are different, different which are in some Shastras. That someone, Gyan and Karma are told the major things you can attain in your life. And they are actually the final uh, solution, Sankhya Yoga. So like this it is written in different different whether it is actually written wrong. How this kind of vichar can come Vedvyasi has all the infinity Upanishads, Purans, Vedan Shastra, everything he has put commentary, but he has given the last uh, conclusion there and Bhakti Shila Bhakti Thakur in this context speaking that those who are taking a, that rank, particular rank that uh, before his previous sanskar what is there and his nature and achanan he will he will be just liking that shastra only oh this shastra is okay i will be reading that i this is actually written uh, correct so like this according to the previous sanskar and nature he has got that previous sanskar and shastra that what kind of adhikar he is getting that because of that Prabhupada always used to speak regarding this that This is already written in Gita. And Bhakti Thakur always used to speak in Sadharma means that according to your own rank, that according to your own eligibility, whatever kind of adhikar you are getting, that adhikar you just need to accept that. 
एंड दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट अधिकार यू नीड टू गो फॉरवर्ड इन योर भजन दैट जस्ट टू गो ऑपोजिट टू द अधिकार दैट इज द टॉप मोस्ट फॉल्ट इन योर लाइफ दैट काइंड ऑफ अधिकार इफ यू आर नॉट एट ऑल फॉलोइंग दैट इज द टॉप मोस्ट प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज अल्टीमेटली डेफिनेटली दे गो नॉट डिस्ट्रॉय देर सेल्फ कंप्लीटली इन द क्रम अधिकार वॉट एवर अधिकार एट द लास्ट टाइम बाय प्योर गुरु वैष्णव वी आर एक्चुअली गेटिंग दैट दैट इज वेरी वेरी गुड दैट स्टिल अवर रैंक इज डाउन बट स्टिल वी आर एक्चुअली ट्राइंग अंडर द गाइडेंस ऑफ प्योर गुरु वैष्णव टू गेट आर सेल ऑफ बट डेफिनेटली माई टाइम डेफिनेटली विल कम नो इन द क्रम मार्ग इट विल कम सो दैट्स वाई द एक्चुअल सोल्यूशन इज डेफिनेटली देयर सो दो सो दिस सो सो दैट पर्टिकुलर जीव ही इज एक्चुअली हैविंग दैट पर्टिकुलर संस्कार इन साइड हिम एंड ही एक्चुअली जस्ट मूविंग इज लाइफ अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट संस्कार दैट अकॉर्डिंग टू दैट संस्कार ओनली वेद व्यास जी एंड अदर ऋषि मुनिश दैट इन ऑर्डर टू जस्ट गेट निष्ठा इन भजन ही दे विल बी जस्ट पुटिंग द सेम शास्त्र इन फ्रंट ऑफ दैम बिकॉज दे विल बी थिंकिंग दैट इट इज मोर देन गुड देन दिस ही विल बी जस्ट किकिंग द प्रीवियस अधिकार एंड ही विल बी टेकिंग अ हायर अधिकार एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट ही जस्ट गेट डिस्ट्रक्शन इज इज लाइफ सो अकॉर्डिंग टू योर अकॉर्डिंग टू योर ओन सेल्फ वॉट एवर काइंड ऑफ दैट प्रेजेंट निष्ठा एंड प्रेजेंट सिचुएशन वॉट इज देयर एंड प्रेजेंट संस्कार इज देयर that to that only in order to fix that that in order to just uh, manifest the nishtha for uh, uh, that particular particular shastra that kind of uh, for different different jeevas it actually is written in the different different shastra but it doesn't mean that it is final why because if he will not do then definitely he will be just jumping into maya and uh, for that by jumping into maya means that he will not will get fixed in his swarup and uh, just in order to j- accept the shastra he will be just taking a mangal in his life so because of that in the karma shastra karma is actually in the gyan shastra spoken gyan is actually top most like this different different uh, shastras scientifically it is one kind of title and certificate is given there is tarah ka so like this different this kind of technique this is actual vichar of krishna only is prakar ka that by this kind of technique jo kaushal hai that kaushal is there isko follow karna in order to follow that that is uh, definitely whether krishna has done it right if some ko- this question is coming then in this uh, this vichar is coming that okay kya acha hai what is good and what is wrong what is uh, right and what is wrong this kind of vichar that only bhagwan paratpar ek liye apart from him nobody knows that at all we our own vichar we we want to keep it on the neck of krishna it is not at all good gurudev whatever kind of uh, things he has given us we have to do according to that and according to that my heart should get uh, harmonize with what guru vishnav has uh, told us that the shastra vichar we they are putting in front of us we just need to make sure that we are under the anugatya of total harmonization should be there under their anugatya kyo dilayte kariya hoy kyo ar na kariyo mane asa dusra koi that we don't have any kind of desire at all we have to just quit the other desires whatever actually is coming from the lotus mouth of gurudev we just need to accept that that's it and the nectar nectar full uh, 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 nectar full nectar coming from the lotus mouth of gurudev that we should accept that's it that should be the actual procedure bhakti vinod thakur actually speaking that you see that in which shastra or whatever uh, according to that shastra vichar that in the sadhan kal in the that karm karm pradhan uh, karm pradhan bhakti that is actually written there in those shastras and do in those shastras that in the sadhan kriya that uh, sadhan karma pradhan pradhani buddha bhakti that the ultimate ultimate nirupadik bhakti that is actually uh, indicated for all the bonded jivas that is the topmost that is the topmost for all the jivas this is the topmost uh, uh, bhakti for all the jivas upanishad brahma sutra gita all these three 
the f first day I have already told you, the second day also I have told you, and all the three, these are called prasthanutrai. These all three are pr prana prasthanutrai because for the jivas in this material world, just in order to get out of this material world and to just get the entry into the transcendental world, that is the only option available. That in order to get mukti, these three kind of pathway are open for them. That is pr prasthanutrai. That's why it is called prasthanutrai. It is actually called like prasthanutrai. In all the Upanishads, Brahma Sutra, Bhagavad Gita, Upanishads, surely, definitely, in actual, they are actually Shuddha Bhakti Shastra. There is no doubt about it at all. That with full uh, Sarvato Bhav, they are actually Shuddha Bhakti Shastras. And and according to place and time, sometimes in these all these shastras, that karma, gyan, mukti, brahma, etc., that all kind of vishaya are already discussed. We can see that in that from time to time. In, in all the shastras, in Up Upanishads, Vedanta, whatever are there, that in all the shastras, if you can see, then Ishwar, Jeev and Prakriti, Kal, Karma, these, all these five things, their dealings are there according uh, of these five things. Whether it is Vedanta, whether it is Upanishad, in Gita also, all these kind of five things are uh, discussed in that. Ishwar, Jeev, Prakriti, Kal, Karma, all things are getting discussed in details. These all things are actually getting uh, detailed discussion. And it is actually getting a detailed discussion in the Gita or in the Shastras also. But, but the topmost vichar, but the topmost according to the to, according to the absolute vichar, according to the topmost vichar, in all the Shastras, ultimately Shuddha Bhakti apart from that, nothing is there. There is no instruction. Apart from that, in order to understand it is impossible without doing sadhana. Lot of things are already told, but ultimately this is the actual thing. Like Sarvam Bhattacharya, that Parat Parakilesh Manchatanya Mahaprabhu with him, he is just doing argument with him in Nila Chaldham. And he is speaking that, oh Thakur, that, uh, that Bhagwan has no hand, feet, nothing he has. It's already written there. He is, he is speaking to Mahaprabhu. And Mahaprabhu is speaking, yes. Definitely, it is Likan Apani Pad, but what actually next is written? That Bhagwan has. Bhagwan, that. Uh, that. Uh, material. Mati just uh, for. Uh, in order to avoid material thinking, it is written like that. He do not have eyes. That, but still he is seeing that. Are, his eyes are not there, but still he is seeing. Yes, but he is seeing everything. He is actually the actual proof. He is like actual proof of all the infinity Brahmand. That all the things he is actually seeing, but he is noticing each and everything and he is becoming one of the proof for uh, seeing everything, practical proof. But still he has no material eyes. He don't have ears, but he can hear each and everything of the infinity Brahman. How it is possible? His hairs and hands are not, but still he is actually running. Are, no legs and hands are there. How he is actually able to run? Yes. And all the objects he is actually taking slowly, steadily, but still if Krishna actually is speaking this Patram Pushpam is already speaking what he will do he will eat yes definitely I will eat Bhagavan speaking Vishwana Chakravarti Pad also speaking yes Krishna if you are by Prem you are actually giving something that Krishna actually is going getting lost in himself so that's why he couldn't understand Bhagavan actually taking the 
the banana leaf and he is taking uh, the outer covering of banana also he just uh, and he forgets what his devotees are giving with full prema like with urani ji giving the uh, outer covering of the banana still he is actually taking that with prema are vidur vidur ji speaking what you are doing to vidurani you are giving uh, outer covering of banana okay i am not bhagwan speaking not at all i am not taking banana i am not taking the outer covering of banana i am just taking prema that's it and i am not at all taking anything at all only prem i am eating so that's why krishna taking prem only so whatever be the case but the topmost absolute upadesh in the shastra what it is written but the topmost absolute uh, ultimate outcome of the uh, those instructions that apart from shuddh bhakti there is no outcome at all are in the vedas also it is like that that by reading all the vedas if we cannot understand what we need to get in life then all useless that just those who are actually reading gita shastra minimum in two categories they are actually divided first category is that those who are uh, having a uh, having a uh, material intelligence they don't have intelligence like a uh, dumb dumb they are but thinking of themselves as intelligent and the second one is with who are having fine tattva darshi they are having that fine darshan they are tattva darshi those who uh, those those students who are actually reading gita gita ka that uh, they are that the actual word of the aprakrit word of gita word to word they just want to understand that they are actually having that material intelligence external intelligence it is called that they are sukshma those who are having fine tattva darshi they are those who are actually reading that sukshma uh, fine darshan they all the time they whatever written in the shastra the actual inner meaning of the shastras they can understand very easily they are actually going into uh, swimming into that that sukshma darshi fine having fine darshan those who are having fine darshan that they are actually reading uh, gita they are having that tattva darshan what is the actual tattva darshan of that those who are actually having material intelligence external darshan they after getting gita this siddhant only they are actually getting on to that conclusion that in all the gita i have already read and i have seen that maharaj that bhagwan arjun actually speaking to him and he just want to he, he has spoken all the gita to arjun just that arjun can come to the platform of his own dharma so it is uh, this kind of material intelligence is just not for horse dogs like that it is just for arjun so after getting all the gita all those material intelligent people they are thinking they are actually reading gita and after that they are observing that see arjun that they are actually arjun is act, bhagwan actually wants to get uh, established arjun in the varna dharma that kshatriya dharma that is the final upadesh of gita that is material person material intelligent person they are thinking like that those who are ex- externally thinking the, the actual meaning of gita but this is not the actual meaning but otherwise uh, there will be varna shankar that's why bhagwan is speaking this that this is the actual conclusion of all the gita so in the end also you have understand what i what i'm speaking that all gita what i'm speaking have you understood that he is speaking to arjun so some people are thinking like that if you have understand them what you have understand if you have understand that what you have understand he is speaking then i can understand aur tumhara jo baatein that whatever kind of uh, questions you are putting i will uh, answer that that whatever you are speaking to me i i am uh, able to accept that when you will understand what i have already spoken nashto moho sitir labhya tat prasadat maachito and for normal person who are material intelligent intelligent people are are you also speaking like this na no, maharaj yes yes he is speaking this only foolish number 1 what they can understand <laughs> they can 
they just want to learn externally what uh, Bhagwan speaking to Arjun. But uh, they have to come in front of Tattvagyani pure Guru Vaishnav because if they will go to a materially intelligent person, they can't understand the actual purport of uh, what Krishna was speaking to Arjun. Those who are having fine Tattva Darshan, that those who are actually pure devotees, Sukshma, by having that fine vichar, only devotees are there. Apart from devotees, have you, sh- you show me if someone have Tattva Darshan. That's why I have told you already. That is to in, the, in this two days life, when, that when we will get the actual nectar, whatever kind of uh, efforts you are putting, they are actually the actual Tattva Darshi. That their Munisha, their efforts, that the uh, Munis, all Rishi Munis they are speaking, their effort is the topmost. Because their thinking power, uh, mentality power is actually topmost. Why? Because they are thinking that this two days life, they are getting the topmost nectar, this pure bhakti, of uh, nectar of bhakti they can get in their life. And all the time they are busy in getting that pure bhakti of nectar. It means that the actual Siddhant is that, that Guru Vaishnav, apart from that, the actual uh, intelligent, no one is there in this infinity Brahman. Only pure Guru Vaishnav are topmost. And we are thinking that we are intelligent, very much intelligent. But in actual, we are not at all intelligent at all. Only pure Guru Vaishnav are actually intelligent, topmost intelligent. This kind of uh, fine darshan, Vaishnav, that what kind of material Siddhant, those who are actually having material intelligence, they cannot get uh, satisfied in that what they are speaking, material concept. No, 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 it is not at all good at all. They won't get impressed by that. The, they actually come on the actual final conclusion that para bhakti, that is the actual ultimate upadesh of Gita. Those devotees, that para bhakti, that is the ultimate goal of the Gita. This word, what Bhagwan speaking, only Bhakti Bhagwan is actually speaking to Arjun. Maybe Bhakti in between that, in, in the sixth Adhyaya only, it is actually getting established that Bhakti Yoga. Because Gita, in that, that it is, it is our heart. Gita is our heart. Gita is my heart. This actually uh, Krishna is speaking to Arjun. And that's why in between, Gita is in, in between. And after that, that topmost Brahma knowledge, that kind of speculative knowledge Bhagwan is giving to Arjun. is manifesting in front of Arjun. If it is not at all there, then how that topmost Upadesh, that cannot be possible at all. If Gyan, Karma, etc., all Yoga, etc., everything, you are, you are giving priority to that that you are actually making effort to make priority, then why you are actually taking this shloka, that the topmost upadesh means, that in the way of bhakti, that jivas should get established, in that pathway only. In that kind of efforts you are putting to uh, take jivas on that pathway. This is the last upadesh, the actual secrecy of this last upadesh is that, that whatever kind of secret rahasya is there, maybe the final and topmost, the ultimate application of an excellency of this shloka you can find in Srimad Bhagavad Ji Mahapuran, Rasa Leela. That what Gopika's Atma Nivedan, that is the final outcome. We can also take the uh, advantage of that, but where is the final application? That is final application and topmost application of this sloka, Sarva Dharma and Paritaja. We just want to see that, that it is the final and ultimate uh, application and excellent application. It is there. There. That uh, the life and life and soul of Gopika is already, it's uh, already getting manifested there. In our life also it can get, but the final, the topmost application we can find in the life of Gopikas. All the application of that shloka we can find in the life of Gopikas. That whatever kind of human beings in this uh, material world, that according to their own nature, they are getting the karma. That, uh, that is called Sobhavvihit karma. 
according to their swabhav, their nature, they are actually uh, getting their karma, respective karmas. According to their own nature, having nishta on that and just that is called good characteristic qualities and just to get jump into that that is actually uh, aparad that is dosh if you are going against that and you are jumping that then it is become a dosh that is not a quality now what kind of adhikar a human beings are having according to that slowly steadily he just need to make sure that his life is going ahead and maybe today or tomorrow that shastra vihit karma he just to get in regulated way and slowly steadily that he can get the tatta gyan he that possibility can come in his life to get the topmost tatta gyan definitely why because by not getting karma shray maybe jivas don't have adhikar uh, adhikar to just uh, leave adhikar uh, to leave karma but mayavadi speaking i can leave uh, karma you are sleeping you are eating you are going for money ha this is also karma so how you can just leave karma without karma shre it is not at all possible to maintain your life to maintain your life is impossible without uh, karma shre that uh, whatever kind of uh, life you are actually living in order to live that in order to maintain your body it is impossible that you can leave karma if you will not at all do karma then then tattva gyan will not get established inside your heart you will not be getting the actual advantage of tattva tattva gyan in a regulated way according to shastra slowly steadily if you will be just getting established in the tattva gyan then only that tattva gyan uh, will just be like a bitter very much bitter uh, in taste but it definitely in the coming time it will become sweeter tattva darshan is not you will not get the actual advantage of the tattva darshan without karma shre just like a madman you are just living without karma he does here and there you are just going and you are just wasting your time just in madness then everything will get destroyed so this siddhant actually is coming now that uh, just by getting the tattva gyan that karma and varna ashram dharma one fine relationship is there between them which is externally we cannot see that at all that tattva gyan tattva gyan uh, and karma and varna ashram dharma everything that has some very fine relationship is uh, between them externally we cannot see that at all but it is very in very very fine relation is there externally that relationship we cannot see but that very fine relationship is there but externally we cannot find that but fi- in fine uh, relationship is definitely there otherwise what actually krishna speaking system guru karma vibhag saha tasya kartaram ham wo bhi vidhi mam akartha abhay ye to darkar hi nahi this is not at all required that all kind of whole material world especially that uh, external world there or they are not at all following uh, varna chandra you just leave for them definitely they gonna uh, uh, follow that uh, bharat bhumi is the actual uh, karma bhumi but other bhumis are not at all uh, karma bhumi india is the actual uh, uh, dharma bhumi and karma bhumi but other lands apart from india they are not at all karma bhumi and dharma bhumi at all so where all the jivas they are getting the platform of mukti this fine relationship is which is already there we can see by krishna that kind of uh, arrangement is very much vital it is very inevitable definitely up till that point that kind of bondage for jivas it is not at all open then this kind of uh, bondage that very fine uh, sambandh relationship uh, is there between jiva and bhagwan so they you can't even forget that at all so what kind of nature arjun is having in this that khatriya dharma the is the actual duty of uh, arjun to perform for arjun now this present situation in this birth what krishna actually just by uh, intentionally showing us that varna ashram dharma inside that arjun is not a bonded jiva then why arjun is getting into varna ashram dharma it's not like that in this birth only krishna by his own will in his leela actually showing sometimes sometimes he is doing uh, brahman leela sometimes he is doing kshatriya leela 
so for his devotees also like haridas thakur he is getting born in a muslim family uh, bhagwan is giving birth to haridas thakur in the yavan family so in order to prove that that for atma dharma and uh, and just for atma establishment of atma dharma this uh, which family he has got uh, get educated and how much money power he has and how externally physically he looks beautiful these are all less important factors in the line of bhakti they, they these are not at all uh, required at all in atma dharma means that whatever actually the health of atma the actual health the actual health of atma about that how to maintain that it is it should be discussed externally it is actually how much bigger and how much taller and he is black or white and in which uh, family he's got uh, birth this is not at all uh, uh, these are all external factors this is not to be taken into consideration at all for bhagavad dharma arjun now what situation he is put it into present situation arjun has taken birth in the kshatriya kul and uh, arjun is actually the transcendental friend of krishna and inside uh, arjun what kind of uh, nat- behavior according to the nature of arjun he just need to follow the khatriya dharma it is his actual duty if he will actually throw that khatriya dharma then all kind of uh, imbalance or instability will be there in this whole material world then will be breakdown will be there everywhere so that's why arjun just by getting the gita he has actually taken the decision after hearing gita that he definitely going to fight in the battlefield definitely he has to take that decision before but still he is actually thinking oh he is my own brother mother father how i can kill them they are actually big big uh, things he is speaking to krishna and uh, krishna speaking to arjun that uh, you are thinking like you are speaking so much you are actually by your oratorship it looks like that you are a very big pandit but actually you are actually foolish number 1 krishna speaking to arjun so that's why he is speaking krishna speaking to arjun you are actually it is not at all good for you you are cleave you are cleave cleave why actually is speaking cleave it is actually written cleave means he is not at all male nor female he is actually in between that if he is male then definitely you have to go on the battlefield and you have to just destroy everyone in this uh, battlefield you already there and b- b- battle is going to start and uh, just like a uh, female you are actually going just like a uh, jackal you are going into the forest uh, hiding there it's not like you are actual uh, human being then definitely if you are a very topmost warrior then you have to go and destroy everything on this battlefield because this is dharma yudh definitely you have to do that if you, if you are not here not there you are in between so that can't be there that's why bhagwan speaking cleave if you are female then you can give 2 to 10 uh, child and you can just give them nutrition but uh, in that uh, work also you can't do so that's why this kind this is 100% sure for arjun that the actual behavior of arjun the nature of arjun that is swabhavit karm he is doing <coughs> this already krishna has told that chaturvarna have already dis- uh, discovered by me in order to that the whole the material world can get uh, balanced no instability can be there in between that so whatever kind of behavior arjun is having that kind of kshatriya dharma is the topmost kshatriya dharma is the topmost in that that kshatriya dharma is his actual uh, duty to do so arjun what he has done that whole geeta on that in after hearing that whole uh, geeta rahasya he has already understood that he definitely going to go on the battlefield and fight brahma swabhav that brahma swabhav all those have devotees if someone having that brahma nature and when they are after just uh, hearing geeta he will be if some brahma swabhav is there that actual brahma swabhav not uh, a faulty brahma swabhav if actual uh, brahma swabhav he is having that after getting the instruction of gita then definitely if he is actually got the actual shraman 
then that detachment will get created inside his heart. I have already told you now that uh, in front of a very topmost sadhu, that uh, that Bhagavad Ji Mahapuran only one shlok, that only the glorification of Bhagavatam, if you will hear, only one, one shraman you can go off in front of a pure devotee, then that actual Vairagya can uh, come inside your heart. That whole material world, he just gonna leave that and he'll become a topmost sadhu. Only just by hearing one word inside his heart, that topmost Viragya will come. That's it. That after hearing all the Shastra, definitely everyone is in this material world because they haven't uh, uh, got the actual Shravan. This is just one kind of drama what they are doing at all. Those who are actually fixed determination, <coughs> I am just taking the... Uh, Lotus feet of my Gurudev and just by taking uh, the lotus feet of Prabhupada I am speaking that definitely they will be going out of this material bondage. They are all actually doing drama. Then definitely they will get the fruit. If uh, some having some Brahma Sabhav that actually if he can just hear the Gita Pravachan how Advait Gosai used to hear Vishwarup used to hear from Advait Gosai and that he got that topmost Vairagya after hearing uh, the commentary of Gita from Advait Gosai and he just left everything. He is actually Nityanand himself. He is Anantadev but still actually showing us that how <coughs> Vishwarup is actually nit- is the actual lunch of Nityanand. He is the second Swarup of Nityanand. Anantadev himself. But those who are Brahma Sampan people those who are hearing Gita with full attention the final Siddhant if they can grasp that then definitely that kind of det- detachment can come inside their heart. It means that uh, the topmost uh, in-depth uh, uh, Siddhant can get uh, manifested inside his heart and the topmost Siddhant can get uh, manifested inside his heart automatically. But those people having that different kind of nature, according to that, that is according to the Updesh of Gita, they have to go. But finally, they have to follow the pathway of Bhakti. According to the Adhikar, that just by getting the karma, according to that Svabhavihit karma, you have to accept and after that slowly, steadily, according to the, the Paratattva Sambhan, in the Anusandhana of Paratattva, you just need to go on, that's it. In that, you will get the topmost mangal. That Adhikar, just by throwing that away, that kind of Adhikar, what are nature, according to your karma, if you will be going jumping after that step, that kind of uh, Tattva Gya, the bonded Jeevas cannot get that in their life at all. That for Param Vaishnav, Arjun, he is actually is not at all Brahma Samav Sampan, that you are speaking that he is the Parshad of Krishna, definitely he is Brahma Samav, uh, Brahm, uh, Swabhav Sampan, he is a, definitely he is. Bra- Arjun is Brahma Swabhav Sampan. But still, he is actually just doing the Leela, this kind of uh, prapanch. He is setting up in front of us and he is just putting himself in prapanch, in this Maya prapanch, by his own will, in order to just get the rasa in that Leela. He has taken that uh, nature of Kshatriya so that he can, so that Krishna can speak the actual opportunity to speak Gita, Pravachan in front of him. So it is very much uh, important to understand this point. So all kind of uh, uh, material world if with full uh, serene and peaceful mind if you will be putting your thought that whatever kind of bonded uh, uh, condition jivas are having it is very painful. The saran means a very serene and peaceful situation with full peaceful mind. The jatila having a very jatil uh, intelligence his mind is very flickering so that's why her name is jatila with full serene and peaceful mind if you will be applying that then if you are making that vichar with that peaceful and serene mind then only you can understand in Bhagavad Ji Mahaprabhu it is already written regarding this that that for all if they are having that serene and peaceful mind then that to do the Bhagavan actually speaking to give the Upadesh of Bhagavad Bhajan and if having the very hard and gentle mind then
This Udharadi means that this dish word it is not at all there in bonded condition. Maybe very small, no complications there at all in that. That Udharadi. It means that some 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 point they don't have any kind of hard and harsh intelligence. They have some very serene and peacefulness in their mind and intelligence. So that's why it is actually cleared here. Udharati means that it is no complications there, no complexity is there. That who does have any kind of politics and harshness in his intelligence. No duplicity is there in his intelligence for those serene and uh, peaceful persons. But Krishna actually made this uh, vichar that this material uh, bondage is very much uh, harmful in a bonded condition for all the bonded jivas. So for all those bonded jivas, some kind of topmost transcendental stage if they want to attain some kind of very easy procedure should be given for those inside their heart they want the act they don't have any kind of desire to get the mangal whether he is in the role of acharya or whether in the form of a guru he don't have any kind of pure intelligence inside him that he don't want that he should he only need politics that he just want to make everyone trapped in politics and he just want to do bhajan as a form of politics in front of everyone that all kind of name, fame, position, whatever he is getting, all having that material bhavana he is having inside his heart. And uh, himself, uh, he is speaking that, you see, I have just uh, got uh, so much uh, materially opulent and my spiritual progress is totally going to destroy. This kind of... Uh, uh, he is actually not at all accepting it at all, but he is actually speaking that I am mad. Okay, what to speak? He is speaking that Sham Baba is actually mad. He don't know anything at all. <laughs> he is just like mad. He is just speaking like that. And he is in the platform, the platform of Acharya. He, I don't want to become Acharya at all. But still, what to do? That Gurudev always used to speak to me. Gurudev always used to speak and laugh to me. That you see, beta, that uh, all those Kulin Pandit, big, big Pandit, from the school of philosophy, they have got the rank position, respectively they have got. From the, they are thinking that they are topmost philosophers and topmost tattvadarshi, that they are topmost pandit. Then those who is thinking that I am most fallen soul, that what I have, what is my actual cost and value. If someone is like that, without any false ego, in respect to infinity brahman what is our actual existence in respect to this infinity brahman i just to accept your uh, existence it will be just like a laughing laughing stroke it will be just like a life laughing stroke that who i am who am i actually by taking this kind of vichar and just to speak this kind of vichar Prabhupada actually is actually just uh, the glorification of gurudev only so all those uh, serene and peaceful mind that kind of a material bonded condition they will be cutting that and going uh, they will be opening the absolute mangal pathway for themselves and they will be arranging some very uh, pure uh, arrangement if it is actually done and if their pathway is open for that pure arrangement then it is actually good for them so this uh, pure situation in order to get that that to get that pure situation just by accepting that pure situation in your life just by whatever kind of efforts you are actually putting into at last that in order to get the actual prem prayojan uh, we are actually doing that and so that object we ultimately have to achieve that for that that is called prayojan and by that which we can get that particular thing the actual uh, solution of getting that particular object and the procedure to be attended means to uh, to be uh, to get that thing attended by attained by us and whatever uh, written in the shastras someone actually putting a focus on yoga someone on logic arguments someone actually on vairagya someone actually putting dharma yudh 
they are thinking someone actually speaking about ishwar upasana and someone actually putting more emphasis on those dharma different different kind of uh, things are there they are putting emphasis they are actually separating it and they have just spread it each and every way just one kind of example i'll give you regarding this shila parikshit maharaj ji has just uh, reached for a pipe ovation in shuktal khetra and all those rishis mune is in front of them he is actually asking one question to them parikshit maharaj actually asked taking question asked question to those rishis mune that uh, my life is very less now and what to do in this life what i have to do in this in this small town in british mun speaking mara you do this mara you do that you do that different different kind of conception they are giving to him but when sukhdev go swami just came that uh, infinity rishi munis they just stand up and they are actually respecting him why that he is actually the acharya of bhakti yog full bhagavata anushthan is there inside her heart so that's why all vasishta bardaraj whatever are there who so ever are there prashar each and every one is actually getting stand to give pranam he is actually just a 16 years old boy but his value is more why because from his life he don't have any attraction towards this material world at all he don't have any kind of material bondage with this material planet and in vairagya that uh, in that topmost vairagya is there in, inside sukhdev because bhakti yoga is there that bhagavat tattva vigyan is there this drive vigyan is vairagya is not at all there that is actually uh, speculative knowledge so by having this kind of discussions lord is steadily at last that uh, all the shastrakar they are actually going on one common platform they are speaking that uh, there is one common there should be one common platform in that by accepting the actual which are we can speak that uh, in order to get that uh, top most siddhi that they, this karma gyan and bhakti this combination they have to follow on this three different different pathway ultimately they will be that kind they can get the actual realization of god in gyan, karma gyan and bhakti all these three pathways are open for the absolute realization of bhagwan and the jivas utpatti they are actually creation of the jivas that constitutional position of the jivas just by getting the vichar inside our heart it is actually uh, by that top must we should vichar this siddhant vichar is actually getting established that Shiddha Sattva That Shiddha Sattva That Shiddha Sattva It is actually Chinmai for all the Jeevas That Bhagawan is actually there In the form Paramatma Inside all the Jeevas So that's why Maharaj That in Maitri Womb That kind of uh, Taking birth Why actually It's like that Because when we are getting The birth In the womb of a mother This kind of arrangement What Bhagawan is doing That is Shiddha Sattva which is the actual uh, transcendental nitya that chittakan that is actual bonded state of those chittakan that in the womb of a mother why because if how he, he, if will not take birth then how he can get the actual uh, fruit of his karma so that's why this is one kind of bondage in the womb of a mother that achintya and avitarka shakti in that that logical interpretation cannot stand in that way at 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 all that achintya and avitarka shakti that according to the will of bhagwan ichha ka anusar you know ye bhagwan jeevo ka this bonded jeevas according to their own fruits of the karma whatever indirect if bhagwan is not at all desiring then uh, nothing can be done but indirectly there is one desire of bhagwan also what kind of uh, birth he is taking on this material world definitely the desire of bhagwan is there definitely <coughs> each and every jeeva actually without the approval of bhagwan nothing can be done even duryodhan also has done lot of uh, uh, things against krishna 
and Pandavas and he is not at all speaking whatever is his nature he is actually having still Duryodhan he has actually accepted this Siddhanta that uh, after just uh, his uh, groin just getting destroyed and he is just uh, lying down on the ground that uh, Duryo, injured Duryodhan just has accepted this point what does it mean actually that uh, according to your own karmful that you are by the actual effect of maya you are actually doing that but still how maya can come indirectly from bhagwan only the desire of bhagwan only it is coming but indirectly no connection is there of bhagwan with maya but indirectly bhagwan is only giving that uh, effect that's for the bonded uh, situation of the jivas to bhagwan you cannot find any fault in bhagwan at all for the bond for their bonded condition his uh, gyan his actual knowledge is actually getting destroyed by a gyan that totally it is get into hidden form totally destroyed that for the jivas that we are not at all taking not sinful activities and we are not at all taking the good deeds where jivatma are getting the fruits of their own uh, activities not at all i will be taking the sinful sinful activities nor the pious deeds of the jivas whatever they are doing good or bad i won't be taking any portion of them they are doing what or it on their own they will get the fruits of that uh, they will get the result of that everything what they are doing i am not at all taking anything that by agyan that his gyan is still his sat siddh gyan is not at all matured it's unripe that's why this is the actual condition of his or her like this karma gyan bhakti this all three things if the segregation is done what we have done of the segregation if you are actually going on an actual path pathway by taking one of the three then definitely you will get the lotus feet of krishna at last definitely karma gyan they are they are actually upay vishesh of prema bhakti very important as an uh, option to get to prem bhakti karma and gyan and when we have this body this kind of karm definitely you have to do you have to perform because your body is there and how you cannot perform karm it is not at all possible it is impossible if in order to just maintain your body the karm is very much important but this uh, definitely you have to make sure that what kind of karm in this material world that is amangal for this whole uh, material world that is a karm vikarm or kukarm and all those mangal jana karm which is already prescribed in the vedas by not at all doing that that is called vikarm and what you are doing against that that for this whole material world you are actually doing for the actual mangal of all the jivas that is called ved vit karma that is karmachari actually karmachari person that by body speech and mind spiritualistic mentally and physically what kind of karm you are doing definitely some result will be there of that whatever karm you are doing you are not at all getting any fruit or result it's not at all possible karm is of two types division is the uh, body dharma mental dharma physical dharma and uh, spiritual dharma that karm whatever kind of karm you are doing that inside that just by taking food your body is getting uh, nourished and when you will be getting married then you will be getting uh, one um, uh, one boy or child from that so this is the actual thing this is the actual procedure which you have to follow so like this ahar bihar ahar bihar sleeping uh, sleep uh, cleanliness that kind of maintenance of your body ashtang yoga shant shant ashtang yoga whatever yoga you are doing different different kind of material spiritual mental and the physical and spiritual dharma you are doing or karm you are doing ashtang jam niyam pranayam etc whatever you are doing it, these are all actually uh, bodily yoga and dhyan dharana they are actually mental yoga 
समाधि इज आध्यात्मिक योग ऑल दिस काइंड ऑफ मेंटल फिजिकल एंड स्पिरिचुअल एस्पेक्ट वॉट आर वॉट एवर आर देयर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ अरेंजमेंट आर गिवन रिगार्डिंग दम बट एट एट द लास्ट अबाउट शुद्ध भक्ति ओनली भगवान कृष्ण इज एक्चुअली स्पीकिंग अबाउट अपार्ट फ्रॉम शुद्ध भक्ति नथिंग इज देयर एट ऑल देयर दिस इज द एक्चुअल पर्पट ऑफ ऑल ऑल द भगवद गीता बॉन्डेड जीवाज आर डेफिनेट इन बॉन्डेड कंडीशन बॉन्डेड जीवाज आर डेफिनेटली इन द बॉन्डेड कंडीशन बट जीवाज देर एक्चुअल स्वरूप वेन दे गेट टू नो अबाउट दैट दैट देयर स्वरूप इज एक्चुअली चिन्मय तत्व बॉन्डेड जीवाज नाउ दे आर एक्चुअली इन बॉन्डेड कंडीशन डेफिनेटली बट देयर स्वरूप तत्व विचार इफ यू आर डूइंग देन ओनली यू कैन अंडरस्टैंड दे आर एक्चुअली चिद दैट इज चिद तत्व बिकॉज ऑफ दैट दे आर चिद तत्व वॉट एवर काइंड ऑफ कर्म दे विल बी नॉट दे विल बी रेस्टलेस वाई बिकॉज दे आर चिद तत्व न दे आर चिन्मय तत्व सो हैव टू डू दैट चिन्मय सेवा फॉर दैट चिन्मय और चिद तत्व For if they are chin mai tatwa, definitely in the material tatwa, how they can get anand? He is actually all the time busy in bonded condition, take, doing all uh, uh, all uh, rubbish things because he is actually in bonded condition. That's why inside his heart there is restlessness and uh, tension is there all the time. There is no peacefulness at all inside his heart. If jivas, if jiv, if jiv tatwa. That jeev is actually chinmay tatta. Inside that kind of gyan alochana is definitely natural for them. If you make an actual vichar, if jeev tatta, if jeev tatta is actually in actual, is actually chinmal. The jeev tatta is chinmay tatta. Then definitely there is one only pathway to get his peacefulness, to get that, to follow that chinmay tatta in total, to worship that chinmay atma. and there is no other pathway open for that jeev particular jeevatma so that is jeev chinmay tat in order to understand that gyan alochana vastavik and tatvik alochana is very much required that jeeva satatva jigyasa the shloka can easily describe the actual now you can understand that this jeeva satatva jigyasa and jeeva so brahma gyas what do what is the actual reason behind that when the jeevas are in this material world that their experience come up to this level and then at the last they can understand they are actually thinking that there is nothing at all nothing is there in this material world at all nothing is there to enjoy and whole sansar whole material world actually is just uh, uh, having no taste at all this should be there it means that now his pathway is going to open now actual pathway and in the life of those bonded jeevas that uh, brahma jigyasa and tatva jigyasa this kind of uh, realization is not at all there then up till that point their situation will be very much uh, restless and unstable if tatva jigyasa bhamma jigyasa like parikshit maharaj like arjun question is he is getting question of atma tatva Sanatan Goswami Maharaj just by his own will he is actually speaking in front of Mahaprabhu these questions This way, I can't understand Prabhu that what you want to do actually This is the This is the top most question here That is the topmost thing. If it is, if it comes, then that, then you can understand that your actual pathway definitely gonna get open. You will get a green signal in that. Definitely, you will get a green signal. You don't need to worry at all. Jiva is what is their actual natural behavior. That is all the time for Bhagwan Sachidanand. Bhagwan is Sachidanand. His uh, behavior is also like that, but that anand that is there, anand. This is the actual uh, anand of the swarup shakti. That the antaranga shakti of Bhagwan swarup shakti, the actual natural direct without the direct kripa of swarup shakti. Direct means via sadhu sangha. That you actually it is getting uh, 
directly with krishna it is not at all possible we can get association so that with the association with that uh, swarup shakti that kind of vritti this is the only uh, thing pathway open by which it can get distributed tat shakti tat prakash ye sab madhyam this all kind of uh, pathways it the uh, krishna he is actually distributing his kripa through these pathway only and he is arranging all these kind of uh, pathways for us so that he can arrange full kripa for a, for a particular jiva for all the jivas gyan when is get, getting on to the pathway of prem bhakti it is targeted on prem bhakti then when gyan actually is getting targeted on getting prem bhakti the krishna pre krishna's prem bhakti then definitely it becomes gyan mishra bhakti gyan when totally is actually overflowed gyan when totally overflowed gyan when taking the support of prema it is just getting up and overflowed like the water from the jar like our own logical interpretation it is actually stopped stopped completely then only they that is called bhakti when gyan is getting in the topmost matured ripe state then there is no kind of arguments and logical interpretation will be there at all in that kind of gyan or knowledge at that point this uh, kevala bhakti in the form of kevala bhakti it is getting manifested the jiva the their actual condition of jivas is actually nitya transcendental in nature the actual nature of the jiva that transcendental is transcendental their actual satta is transcendental and by this concept we have to go ahead that actual swarup of the jivas if we do the analytical vichar regarding that then in that that prem seva is actually the sahaj dharm for that jiva yes tomorrow i will tell you that what prabhu is speaking what is actually bhakti what is the actual by just doing the vichar of swarup of jivas this is the actual natural behavior of all the jivas bhakti in bonded condition also he it is in dormant state it is not at all getting uh, manifested it is just in a hidden form that's why lot of lot of vichar is there regarding that as well that by, for bahimur bahimuk bahimuk kam the maya's influence is there in that by that that kind of bhav is not at all getting manifested for for the jivas but when they are getting association of pure guru vaishnav by satsang pure guru vaishnav association their bahirmukh vritti that asatsang is totally getting destroyed slowly steadily and the actual seva mood of the jivas they, it is getting manifested automatically krishna bhaktir janma mul hoy sadhu sang krishna bhakti ka the janma the actual uh, krishna bhakti will just start from there by satsang only by sadhu sang only in the bonded jivas all kind of bahirmukh bhav soul itself will just get destroyed and will be the, on the pathway of destruction and that kind of seva vritti will definitely get uh, inside the heart of the jivas you can see that at that time that karma mishra becomes sadhan bhakti that with so seva vritti seva vritti just getting the top in the topmost stage and finally it will they it will just get transform transformed into kevala bhakti but in between that there is a very fixed resolution in that that asatsang kabhi that asatsang cannot and never it should not be there at all jasmat sarvarth hani adap patas te jayate अगर 
if the shastras the, if you will be doing the alochana of the paramarthas the shastra then it will become material he is actually working as an acharya in the sanyasi vesh prabhupada speaking that he is actually on the spiritual platform he is actually discussing that then he whatever prachar or whatever he is doing definitely you will be losing something that your actual present position you will be going more and more down in that prabhupada used to speak this that uh, what spirit that paramarthik sambandh if inside the heart of bonded uh, jiva whether he is in the base of a sanyas or an acharya uh, unknowingly he will do then definitely you will lose your consciousness and you have will go do- down and down you will lose everything and you will go down from your present situation present condition so bro- doing like this this kind of vichar you just need to make sure you do that and you are going up so that no kind of satsang can be done only satsang can be done in that only and only satsang only satsang should be there no no satsang should be there at all so just by doing that satsang slowly steadily the gita's the last upadesh you can understand that it is not at all difficult to understand if sincerity is there inside your heart no duplicity is there then what uh, how can it be a big thing that uh, guru vishnu are there with us it is actually all for rubbish no not at all that sadhu sang definitely not gonna go in vain at all asat sang it is definitely you can asat sang will never go in vain at all definitely it can cut asat sang completely from our heart satsang sadhu sang this is talked uh, it is transcendental nature it is fixed in nature it cannot be get it cannot get destroyed at all bhakti is actually divided into two parts kevala bhakti kevala bhakti it is actually independent uh, karma gyan definitely i'll be talking about it yesterday tomorrow and after that slowly steadily the actual the is the dhyan which we are actually getting concentrating on gita that in the 6th adhyaya out of 6 18 adhyay 6th adhyay is 1 to 6 is uh, karma arpan how we have to just uh, uh, surrender our karma to lotus feet of krishna for his actual satisfaction and in the other 6 uh, adhyay it is actually bhakti yog dham gradation is given there regarding that and that the last the last uh, third in the last 6 adhyayas that about gyan bhakti different different kind of vichar on gyan bhakti is actually is given that top most what will be the final goal and target bhakti is actually considered the top most whatever pathway you are going gyan karma dhyan yog gyan yog whatever in what pathway you are going without bhakti you you will not get any result at all nobody will get the result at all without bhakti without bhakti it is not at all possible it won't bear any fruit it means that bhakti is swayam independent herself bhakti is herself independent it is not at all dependent on others but on bhakti everyone is actually dependent whatever whatever you are doing whatever kind of siddhi in whatever siddhi you want in what particular pathway you just need to not just need to take the support of bhakti in whatever pathway you need actual siddhi you just need to make sure that you the glorification of bhakti devi should be cleared without bhakti devi it is not at all possible that you can get the actual result in those particular pathway or streams not at all possible without bhakti bhakti is all the time independent and on to the lotus feet of krishna definitely to do uh, uh, his bhajan that is the topmost last upadesh of gita and that is the actual final instruction of gita only is that that finally it is already told in bhagavad gita mahapurana also regarding this प्राणो को हारस्य जतेन्द्रियाणम तथैव सर्व अरहरणम उच्चते अच्युतेज्या 
This is the actual final Updesh. In Gita, that is the final, that is the final instruction. It, this is actually getting opened in front of everyone. And Naraji Maharaj actually speaking. This is actually more fixed. Devotees, if they, they are speaking, that it is more and more uh, strong.